hunt all day, hoping to find a rare amiibo. It's mine, 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 mine. hunting that gold Mario. I want a village of two. I'm outside of Best Buy, half past noon, hunting amiibos, amiibos, hunting amiibos. Amiibo hunters. What's up, guys? A Duck Opinion here, and this is episode one, season one of Amiibo Hunters. Now, I haven't looked up if anyone else is doing this. I'm sure they are, but I like shows like Storage Wars and like just shows that like go hunt junk and like try to sell it for more money. I watch them on Netflix, and I really like that stuff. And I decided to make kind of my own little series called Amiibo Hunters, where I hunt amiibos and possibly sell them on eBay for more money than I paid for them. And I want to show you my collection in this first video and we'll continue to make these videos better and better the more we post and I think it's going to be awesome. So let's get started. This is my silver Mario amiibo. Now my daughter, this is the first one I ever got, my daughter kind of opened it a little here. <laughs> He'll probably get open soon. He'll probably be one of the only few I open. Because there's just something about the boxes. They're the best, like, display case ever. I feel like when I open it, it's just going to become a toy instead of, like, an awesome collector's item. And that really kill it for me. But I'll open him, though, because I don't think he's that rare. I wish I had a gold one. The golds are rarer, but coming soon in a video, we're going to make a list of the rarest amiibos and which ones we'll be looking for on Amiibo Hunters. So I have one more. I only have two right now in my collection. This is the start. This is the start, man, by like season two or three. We may have tons, like who knows, but I really think this is going to be fun. So what's the second one? What's the second one? Dun, dun, dun. That's right, it's the Ink Girl from Splatoon. We, uh, we covered Splatoon, it's a fun little game. We're probably still covering it, and uh, my daughter loves this one. I'm surprised I didn't let her open it, but again, like I want to open it and like scan it for DLC. But I just love the case. I think it just looks so like a trophy in its case. I feel when I open it, it'll just take away that value. So like I wish that Nintendo put a little circle pad at the bottom so we can still scan them but keep them in the package. Because I think that'd be really, really cool. So the Ink Girl is pretty awesome. I like the Ink Girl a lot. I should have bought the three of them in a package, but instead I ordered the Squid from Japan and I ordered this one alone because at the time I was just kind of ordering this for my daughter and I ordered the Squid for myself because it's cool. But then I started this series, so I'm kind of in the hole already. We're making some mistakes on how to buy these already, but we'll get better when time comes here on Amiibo Hunters. But like I said, this is just the start. This is the first video. This is a cool series I want to play and do, whether people watch it or not. I don't care. I make these for myself sometimes as well, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So join me, if you will, on our very first episode of Amiibo Hunters. Here's what I am uh, have planned. We're going to make a list of what Amiibos are rare. We're going to go out to like Walmart, Target, and all this place and see what we can find. We're going to check out... Uh, online listings form and what I order and what come in packages and we'll do some unboxing of rare amiibos and we will also be doing a how to find amiibos so that's my idea for the first season of amiibo hunters hope you guys are into it this is a very short video just introduction to the idea and what I have planned and I just can't wait it's gonna be really really fun thank you guys for watching here on a duck opinion we're the only channel that does can fly so like and subscribe get ready for more on amiibo hunters Dun dun dun!